What is good, Neo family? It's your boy Ray J back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the one and only Neo and why I'm still very bullish for the near term and long term futures for this company. I know you guys are seeing it in the red. I know you guys are seeing it dropping here and there. But I kid you guys not that even if this happens for another week, even if it keeps dropping, I'm still going to load the book because I see insane potential in this stock for the future. Neo is a very great play, in my opinion. And I'm going to show you guys that in this video. I'm also going to talk about what the mainstream media has said about Neo as well quite recently i'm going to talk about what internet neo put on their twitter page that makes me very excited for this company as their brand is improving every single day but before i do get started and talk about any of that i do have to mention i'm not a financial legal or taxation expert so don't take this as financial legal or taxation advice everything in this video is solely for entertainment purposes only and also if you guys can please Smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, but benefits the entire Neo community as a whole. With all that said and done and out of the way, guys, let's get on with the video. So looking at Neo from the one-day chart, we ran all the way up to 39.44, then we dropped to 37 dollars and 45 cents a share before running all the way up to 38.51 and closing at 38.41. However, we were still down about 3.18 percent. It's not the worst defeat in the world, as I did tell you guys in my previous video that we did have support around the 37.50 to 38 dollar range, and that support I'm, i can't promise you if it's going to hold but once again it doesn't matter for the long term of this company because i do see this thing having insane potential let me bring up some belinger bands just like this and these belinger bands basically show you the overall volatility of this stock and they're just the one standard deviation away so right here we can see that we had some movements as we went all the way down touching the lower band many times but then we ran up we touched the upper band and had a pretty decent closing showing that neo is not just done just yet guys this is not the end for neo it could still swing in the upward direction it could still touch the upper band because there are still people buying neo at particular prices and that makes me excited very very excited because i know that eventually this thing's going to have a big reversal now here's here's how i see neo and i, I really want to show this to you guys from the six month chart if i bring up the macd and the rsi real quick basically these things show you what the trend is basically doing okay the macd if we put the nine day moving average on what is that i believe it's the ninth of november and since then we've been on a bit of a bearish cycle slowly dropping and dropping and dropping and it's not showing that it's going to stop just yet so we could see neo drop a little bit more before another reversal comes now here's another thing the rsi did drop a little bit at 40.34 so even though neo did drop a little bit I am not bearish for the long term. I do see Neo gaining the support it needs to have a bounce back because there are huge catalysts coming. Something huge. The biggest catalyst for Neo, at least one of them, is the fact that Neo Day is just around the corner, guys. It's exactly one month away from today. And I believe leading up to Neo Day, Neo is going to have a big reversal. I do think that Neo Day is going to cause Neo to start going not just that to the 40s. But running past 44, maybe going as high as 48. And after when big announcements are made, this thing should be back in the 50s by after December 18th. Now, that doesn't mean that it's just going to keep on going in a straight green line. There are going to be ups and downs on the way there. But I'm still very excited for this play. Now, let me pull up the six-month chart and show you the last type of indicator that I want to show you. And that's the Fibonacci retracement chart. I'm going to start off from the very bottom, going all the way to the top. And right here, you guys can see that this is actually playing within these levels of support and resistance very, very well. Right over here, it's perfectly showing us that the support that Neo has was around 37.50. That's exactly where Neo bounced off today. Now, tomorrow, and I do want you guys to know that Tesla is currently on a, the verge of hitting a bullish cycle. So that could actually help Neo. Now, even though the NASDAQ and other the s p they don't look too great right now. It is expected for them to actually have a strong closing, so that could actually be good for Neo as well. Now, there are exclusive things that brought Neo down. It's not just Neo's fault. Remember, Neo did have a not very good October as they were improving their manufacturing lines, but but other things are the main reason it's dropping the way it is right now. It's not necessarily Neo's fault because they have big catalysts. There are amazing things coming, and I'm very very excited. So let me show you what these articles are saying. They're comparing Lucid with Neo, and they're basically talking about, oh, how Lucid is just very 
you know, close to starting up a very good production line with 520 customized Lucid Airs coming out. I mean, very, very awesome. I think Lucid's a great company, but for Neo, it's just somewhere in this article about why Neo is still doing really well. Right over here, it says Neo is already selling SUVs in Norway and it plans to expand into Europe through Germany next year. It's also possible that Neo will eventually bring its business to the USA, which Barron's reported earlier this year. And they aren't talking about the fact that Neo may double its capacity past its production before May of 2024. I mean, Neo is improving their capabilities, they're expanding, and huge things are coming. Now, I know you guys understand. I know you guys understand. Neo is still a relatively new company. There are some hardships in their way right now, such as the global chip shortage. We're not entirely out of that just yet. But I do think that if you give it a little time, when the recovery comes, when the expansions come, when they start improving their production, this company is going to absolutely kill it. It's a monster in the making. And the way I see Neo, guys, is Neo is not exploding yet. It's not there yet. It's eventually going to get there, but if you get into it right now, and I'm not giving financial advice, but I'm putting it out there, you are in this play early. It's like, wouldn't you have liked to invest in Tesla back when it was really cheap, guys, when Tesla was in its early phases? I mean, for me, you're going to get a steal. And for me, thinking of NEO at the share price of 38, or even if it drops to 36, that's a huge steal in my opinion, because in the future, I see this thing going up. So Right over here, I believe it's Benzinga. They reported many things about NEO as well today. Basically, Alibaba reported in a quarterly earnings of $1.74 per share, which mean it missed the estimate of $1.93. And once again, that's caused people to maybe drop a lot of Chinese stocks, so to speak. However, that doesn't necessarily change the forecast as the forecasts are still looking quite good. Seeking Alpha has stated that NEO still has high price targets of around $67 for the near-term future, even higher as I believe Citibank stated that NEO should break $80 by next year quite easily. And I am very, very bullish, but this is, it is going to depend on their productivity, how much they improved their business and what the overall market is allowing. So despite that, despite what the external things are doing, I'm still very bullish. And from an investor standpoint, so to speak, you're making the right moves because the fundamentals are there. This company has amazing fundamentals. So when you see other people comparing it to Lucid or Rivian or saying all these things, remember, Neo has insane potential. Neo basically has the ability to improve improve as time progresses they're upgrading their battery packs we're seeing longer ranges of over 600 miles we're seeing better better battery services coming out i think the first battery swap station just came out in norway i mean it's just the beginning i do think neo may be undervalued and i do definitely think that even if you don't consider it overvalued just yet and eventually it's going to be considered overvalued when the business improves and i i in my opinion I do believe that it's overvalued. I just can't promise anything. But I do tell you that if you buy it right now, you're getting an absolute steal. Because if you wait a year from now, a year and a half from now, imagine how huge Neo is going to be as their brand, their brand is improving. Everything is absolutely going well. The last thing I want to talk about is what Neo put on their Twitter page right over here before I end the video. It says that Neo is a user enterprise focused on providing a joyful lifestyle beyond the vehicle. And right now you can see a car photoshopped with a bunch of people. It's a cute picture, but I'm just putting it out there. The blue skies are coming. The green is coming. Give it the time it needs because it's improving their customer service and the customers love it. So with that said and done, I do think we could see a little bit of downside for neo we could see a drop just a little bit in the short term but in the long term i see this thing exploding as they improve their production as they improve their brand and as more people learn about them i think neo is a giant it's a sleeping giant and if you give it the time it needs it's going to absolutely take off with that said and done guys thank you for listening have a great rest of the day and i'll see you on the next one thank you and peace out